And we begin tonight with the arrest of a 21-year-old coming man. Today's takedown was a culmination of the year-long undercover operation headed up by the FBI. Well, here's what we've learned since the announcement of his arrest this evening. Investigators say 21-year-old Hashkar Jalal Taheb was planning to carry out attacks tomorrow. Now, according to the FBI, his targets included the White House, the Lincoln Memorial, and even the Statue of Liberty. Taheb was taken into custody today in Gwinnett County. Now, we've been on top of this story since we broke the news on Fox 5 News at 5 today. And tonight we have live team coverage. Fox 5's Marissa Mitchell has been pouring through the details of the federal affidavit. Yeah, and Fox 5's Kerry Charles is live at the scene in Cumming where the FBI is searching the suspect's home. Well, let's begin now with Kerry. Well, Sine, that search here at that house, it ended a short time ago. Law enforcement officers from several agencies, they converged on this neighborhood. The FBI also here, and that's why people who live in this community, they were shocked to come home and see such a large presence. They say they were even more puzzled to learn what this man is accused of doing. Sky Fox 5 shows the active scene that played out Wednesday evening on Horseshoe Creek Lane in Cumming. Multiple law enforcement agencies executed a search warrant at the house of a 21-year-old now accused of plotting an attack on the White House. Kareem Kanat's young son had just awakened from a nap. He said, Mommy, there's a cop car. And so I looked out the window and I was like, well, let's go see. And the next thing I know, there is like a procession of cars that came down the street. The investigation into Hashar Tahib has been months in the making. The cop car um, parked sideways right next to our house, turned a couple of cars around and then everybody parked and it was like a swarm of people got out of their vehicles and went down to the end of the street. Neighbors can't believe they live just houses away from the suspect. I don't think anyone expects this to ever happen in their neighborhood, you know. Um, you read about it on the news, it's removed. It's not, it's not your neighborhood. Um, so it's, it's a, a wake up call. Jackie Greenwood tells me she doesn't know, but has only seen the suspect's family in passing. But they're relatively quiet. I know the, the mom just is the way anyone would know their neighbor just in passing. And she's a really sweet lady. She works hard. She's got three kids. And um, I just, yeah, I, I don't, I don't understand how that that's happening there. So many questions, so much confusion. It's kind of scary, um, you know, just to think that that's happening in our neighborhood, that we're, you know, so close to um, the situation. Now, investigators say someone in the community actually tipped them off to the suspect's plans. Should tell you the barricades that were in place actually kept us from getting to one household to speak with a woman who was affected by all of this. She had trouble getting home. We actually had to use technology to talk to her. You'll hear from her coming up on Fox 5 News Edge at 11. Live tonight and coming, Kerry Charles, Fox 5 News. All right, we'll see you on the edge, Kerry. Thanks. As Kerry mentioned, the FBI acting on a tip from a resident who told local authorities that Tahib had been radicalized. Yeah, but the feds point out that there was no target in Georgia. Fox 5's Marissa Mitchell continues our live team coverage now. Marissa? Well, I was outside the federal building this afternoon when the news first broke and prosecutors released this affidavit. Now, they say along with the White House, Tahib was planning to attack the Statue of Liberty, the Washington Monument, as well as the Lincoln Memorial. But investigators stress at no point was North Georgia or the Super Bowl on his radar. All potential threats have been neutralized and they have been under control from the inception of this case. Again, I want to clarify that there were no threats posed to any targets located in the Northern District of Georgia, nor was there the upcoming Super Bowl a target of his alleged activity. Now, here's a timeline of Tahib's alleged plot, which dates back to March of last year. That's when a local law enforcement agency told the FBI a citizen reported he had become radicalized, changed his name, and was planning to travel to an Islamic State territory. And in August of last year, Tahib reportedly put his car up for sale to get money needed for that trip, but told an FBI informant who expressed interest in buying the vehicle that he misplaced his passport and couldn't get another so instead, prosecutors say Tahib planned to stay in the U.S. and attack here, saying, quote, he could do more damage here and become a martyr. And from August to December, the talks with undercover agents continued, according to the complaint. Prosecutors say Tahib showed hand-drawn sketches of the floor plan of the West Wing of the White House and shared details about his plan on an online group messaging site. And this month, prosecutors say Tahib planned to meet up with 
undercover agents to exchange his car for semi-automatic weapons, explosive devices, as well as hand grenades. They met up with him this morning in the parking lot of a store in Buford, and that's where agents arrested him. Now, prosecutors say that Taihe planned on carrying out his D.C. attacks this week and even planned on showing a video online of him talking over images of burning American and Israeli flags before the attack. But there's so much more in this investigation included in that affidavit, and you can find the full complaint on this story on fox5atlanta.com.